did you hear about Cassandra? Yeah, 2024 New Year's resolution. She's gonna actually start losing weight. Hasn't she been saying that for like the past three years? Yeah, <laughs> do you think she's actually gonna do it? Probably not. But they're three months down the line. It's 2024, it's March. But then, if you look at Cassandra, oh my god, she's not the size of a whale anymore. She's actually lost so much weight. Oh my god, Cassandra. She's looking kind of fit, you know? How did she do it? By going to the gym. Yeah, silly. Like me. <laughs> did legs today. I feel great. That's a lie. My legs hurt. My legs hurt so much. I feel like I've just been bummed. Now, how are you going to find your goals? How are you going to achieve your goals that you've set for yourself in 2024? And there are there is a way that you can do this. Not for like your New Year's resolution. You can do this with any goal that you want to achieve. And there are two very key focuses that I'm, I'm going to talk about in this video. And that is your core desire and your constraints. Now, your core desire, that's your main goal. That's your purpose in life. That's your mission. Now, constraints, these are layers that surround around your core desire. These are like walls that surround your core desire that we can't get to. The reason we can't get to our core desire is because of these walls that circle around it. These are layers that we need to improve so we can actually get to that core desire in the middle. Okay, so our core desire is this little dot in the middle. This is our core desire, our mission in life, our purpose. This is where we want to be. This is something that we all want. Now, constraints are these layers that are around. Oh, look at those beautiful circles. Oh my God. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, these are constraints. These layers around our core desire, stopping us from actually being able to achieve our mission in life. Now, each one, each one is something. Maybe right now you're trying to get fit at the gym. So this is the gym. That this is our constraint right now. And when we improve this, when we start going to the gym a lot, we get rid of this. We destroy this outer layer. However, the next layer inside could be, all right, you started going to the gym a lot. You were doing really, really well, but it started costling. It's quite costly to go to the gym, to eat healthier food, to have protein. So, you're kind of broke. However, your next constraint, your next layer to improve, is money. That online business to figure out how to make money. Now, say you do that. Now, say you figure out how to make money, you start working hard, you start making a good income, so you've destroyed this constraint, this layer, you've improved it. But the next one, maybe your mental health is now fucked because you focus too hard on that business. So now you've neglected your mental health. So you've got to focus on your mental health. You see, you have all these layers around you that are surrounding your core desire, which makes it so difficult to find what your mission in life and your purpose is. Now, there is something that you have right now, something that you are going to have, and that's called your main task. Now, what this is, is basically, it's the thing that you are always thinking about. The thing that you are thinking about, and when you do it, you are completely focused on, you're not distracted. You always enter like a flow state every time that you do this. Now, this is probably why I have so many random skills. Like you will do one main task, you'll learn, you're not distracted, you improve, and then you move on to the next main task. Now, this is why I have so many random skills. This is why I can do the, the Rubik's Cube in under a minute. I used to do cardistry, which is like skills with cards. And for some reason, young me, young child me, thought it was a good idea to learn how to pick a lock. So I can pick a lock now. I must have been the weirdest nerd ever. Like, oh, look at that kid. Look at that Asian. He can, he can do the Rubik's Cube. He, he plays the cards. Or he can also break into your house. And maybe that's what I did. That's what I do, just break into your house and start throwing cards. Just start throwing cards at you like, hey yeah, hey yeah, hey yeah. That's it. That's it. When you think you're good at something, <laughs> that Asian kid, that one Asian kid who does it better. Now, the one thing that 
I don't think a lot of people talk about that your core desire, your purpose in life, it can change. It's not set in stone. Your purpose in life can change. Right now, if I run you through my daily life that I'm doing right now, working towards my core desire compared to a year ago, they're completely different. So now I wake up like seven, eight in the morning. I will start editing all the thumbnails and stuff. Well, not the thumbnails, but like getting ready for my YouTube video to come out later tonight at 4 p.m. I'll then go off to work after work, which ends at like four. I'll go off to the gym for like an hour or two, come back home and it's like six. I'll film a new YouTube video that I've scripted the night before and then I'll edit until like 10 p.m. and I'll get all of it done and then I'll go to bed. See, that's my day in my life right now, working towards my core cool desire. But a year ago, I dropped out of college and I dropped out because I wanted to go to Japan. Like every basic English person, like I I'm mixed race, English and English and Asian. Like every basic person in like the UK wants to go to like Japan. I wanted to go to Japan and work there. I bought all the textbooks to learn Japanese, to write in Japanese. I even nearly went to go do like my exam to like prove that I to get a certificate that I can speak Japanese to a certain degree, to work out and figure out how to get a visa to go over there. I did all of this. That is very different to what I'm doing now. Your purpose can change. So, you want to actually find out though. You want to find your core desire. You want to find that purpose. Because all the spiritual teachers that tell you, if you find your core desire, you find your purpose in life. All these self-improvement YouTubers who tell you this, like Hamza and like, was it like Andrew Huberman and then uh, Andrew Tate podcasts, like all that kind of stuff. They all tell you that you want to find your purpose because well, finding your purpose gives you a sense of happiness, fulfillment, that you're living your life to the fullest. But how do we find our core desire? How do we find our purpose? And why do we chase everything that is literally nothing to do with our purpose? We go on social media, we go on video games, we watch porn, we... We chase the woman, chase that crush. Why? Because you don't know what your purpose is. We don't know what to chase. So we turn to instant gratification. And the thing is, if you are on self-improvement or you've been watching self-improvement videos for a while, you know that instant gratification, bad. Delayed gratification, good. You know this already. And there, there is a big reason to why. Instant gratification, it adds layers around your core desire in the middle. It adds so many layers around. It adds so many constraints. Stopping you from being able to find your purpose in life. After you scroll on Instagram, you see a guy who's like really good at skating. Oh my God, I want to learn how to skate now. You see a guy who's like really good at video games. Oh, I want to start playing that video game now. You see an Asian kid who can pick locks. I want to start picking locks now. So if you think about it, if you're overstimulated, if you are overstimulated, you have so much cheap dopamine, it is going to be really hard to find that core desire, to find that purpose. It's going to be really difficult. You see, right now, I'm happy. I'm working for my core desire. I'm working and improving these constraints that are surrounding my, my purpose, and I'm improving them, getting rid of them, working towards my core desire. I'm happy. And this might be why you do not enjoy school because you aren't working for your core desire. No, 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 you're, you're working for someone else's desire. You're stuck at this layer outside your core desire and you're just stuck there working for someone else's, not yours. You don't know what your purpose in life is. You don't know what it is you want to do in college or uni. You're just kind of going along, you're just floating along, just trying to figure out. Bro, they ask you so early in like secondary school, like, what is it you want to do? Like they ask you in like year nine, when you're like, was it 13, 10 years old? What do you want to do when you're older? You need to choose now. Bro, I don't know what I want to do. I'm like 12 years old. I just want to hang out with friends, sleep and wank. Not in that order, I don't think. They ask you so early for you to figure out what your purpose in life is, what it is you want to do in life. How are you supposed to know at that age? We aren't going to be able to find our purpose this young right now but we can find the current layer we're at that layer outside our core purpose our core desire we can find that we can find our constraint and i want to show you how first of all you want to get rid of all that noise all that extra noise that's just 
infiltrating your head, all that instant gratification that's adding all these extra layers, all these extra constraints. You want to get rid of all that. You want to literally just sit in an empty room with a pen and paper and you just want to ask yourself, what is my constraint? What is my desire right now? What is that main task? The thing that I'm thinking about, the thing that I want to do. And when I do it, I'm focused. I'm in a flow state. I am not distracted. What is my desire right now? Okay, for me, all right, what is my desire? Okay, I'm thinking about, I'm, I'm focused on self-improvement. I want to improve myself to become a better me. Or maybe for you, it's, okay, I want to be financially free. I want to work on that online business. I want to save up money to buy my own place to rent out like an, as an Airbnb. I want to be into real estate. I want to work on that business so I can be financially free for my family in the future. Or maybe it's going to the gym so you can have the best physique possible so that your son, when you're in your own family, looks up to you with a sense of awe and proudness. I want to be like you, Dad. What is your current constraint right now? And the thing is, there is a high chance that your current constraint, that current layer that you're at that you need to improve to get rid of that layer, to be one step closer to your core desire, your purpose in life, there's a chance that that constraint is your weakest skill. You know the saying that's, uh, what is it? You're only as strong as, wait, no, that's not it. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Now, at, at times I didn't really understand, but if you have a metal chain, right? All these like little links, so like one of the, like a chain like this, like, you know, a lot of people have like, was it chains around their necks now? If one of those links was a piece of string, if you pulled on that chain, it would snap almost instantly because of that one piece. And it would then become like a chain whip. You're only as strong as your weakest link. You want to improve that weakest link because that is probably your constraint. If you think about it, Maybe you've been on self-improvement for a while. Maybe you've been watching self-improvement videos for a bit. You've been working on that online business. You've been working on your mental health, self-improvement. You've got, you're in the best physique you've ever been in. Your business is starting to pick up. Your mental health is the best it's ever been, but you're lonely. You've improved all of these aspects of your life, but the social, your social link of your life is weak. That's the constraint that you need to improve. That's the layer that you are at. And you know this, you know what your weakest link is right now. If you close your eyes, it's the back of your head. You know what your weakest skill is. You know what you need to improve. That's the constraint that you are currently at. That's what you need to improve. That's a constraint that's worth lifting. Lifting this will take you one step closer to your purpose. Look, I'm sorry that this video isn't like a, like a, a really quick solution to finding your purpose in 2024 because it's not realistic. You aren't going to find your purpose with one video. Self-improvement isn't going to fix your life in the space of one month. After two years of self-improvement, it doesn't end. It just gets better. Honestly, like after two years of being on self-improvement, it doesn't end, it doesn't finish, it just improves and it gets better. That's the beauty of it. It just ch it just improves and gets better. Look, 10 years down the line, say this YouTube's picked off. We've built a community of like 100,000. That's my goal for the end of this year. 100,000 subscribers. We've built a community where it's all of us just trying to improve ourselves. You see, right now it's the biggest struggle for like people on self-improvement who started their online business who are in the best physique possible it is the social aspect it is hard to find other people who are your age young teenagers who are focused on trying to improve themselves that they find going to the gym fun who aren't going out drinking every single night it's hard to find people like that see that's my end goal for 2024 hundred thousand subscribers so you can have a community so we can have this community to have that social aspect so we can improve it now because honestly finding good friends in this day and age is hard it's really hard <laughs> everyone just wants to go out and drink but the thing is in 10 years down the line say this picks up and i achieve that my purpose might change i might then want to become a mixed martial artist and mind's eye and start beating the shit out of everyone <laughs> that's the thing about self-improvement after two years it doesn't end it just gets better 
Who knows, maybe in like, maybe in 10 years time I'll start breaking into people's houses and just throw cards at people. If you want self-improvement, maybe it's been a couple months or maybe it's beginning. Honestly, it is one of the best things I've ever done in my life. It just gets better. If you're on self-improvement, you got this, man. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Love you, bro. What? Oh, yeah. Do you like the setup? And then uh, we change things up, make things interesting. I haven't done card throwing in ages, actually. Damn, still got it. Actually, a really expensive card, so I'm just going to check I haven't broken it. 